work as I did all that Yeah, I can't take no loss, yeah I don't even know what it costs, huh. I hit the ground, then it go off, yeah Hit the ground, then it go off, yeah I can't take no loss, yeah I don't even know what it costs, yeah I hit the ground, then it go off, yeah Hit the ground, then it go off, yeah, yeah Run it, run it, ooh I really feel it's my time, think it's my year, yeah Yeah, I really feel it's my time, think it's my year, yeah Yeah, I really feel it's my time, think it's my year, yeah Yeah, I really feel it's my time, think it's my Rob, where are we at right now? We're at the UFC Expo 2023, our second time bringing you guys back behind the scene. We can't wait. A lot of people we got to meet. We got to meet some of you guys, the fans. We got to meet some of the fighters and get some really good contact. Very excited. Let's go, man. We just walked in here already. We got a lot going on right to my right shoulder. We got people everywhere, and it's only 10 o'clock. It's just getting started, Rob. So, hey, let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it, baby. UFC X 2000. 23 come along with us let's go all right guys i got the call out podcast hat here um these guys hats are a little different than mine though where'd you guys get these hats It looks like you can hide in there. <laughs> can you spin it? There. Can you spin it? <laughs> I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of interested. I don't know if we ever touched on this topic. Which belt you think is nicer, like the new one or the older one? I mean, this one has got a nice nostalgic style, very like classic pride. I just think the new ones are so dope. It's so bling. Every time you defend your belt, you get a new gem stone added to it. Yeah, so I think I like the that. new one is kind of has a little bit more drip than the old school ones. What about this baby one we get for the dog at home? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go check out the merch. There's a lot of stuff here. We got some got some Conor McGregor that was funny. voodoo dolls over here. <laughs> Conor McGregor haters buying this and then fucking his leg up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the same leg, huh? Yeah. Uh, let me get you on this challenge real quick. We're gonna test your skills. We're gonna ask my man Eric if he can champ, if he can name all UFC champs from 125 all the way to heavyweight. All right, let's go. Starting with 125, male division. Uh, Brandon Moreno. Yep. Okay. And then 135. 135. Right now, it's gonna be. Um, Come on, man. You got it. Yeah, it's they call him the Funk. He's oh, little, Aljo Sterling. There, there we go. go. 145. Who we got? Oh. Volkanovski. 155. Uh, what's his face? The uh, Russian. Uh, no, he's not Russian. Is he American? He's oh. wrestling. He's a Could wrestler, be. right? Yeah. Uh, I think he's, he's just fought Volkanovski. Yeah, he did. Uh, it's not Khabib. It's the, it's the yeah, other one. Close. It's close. Uh, it rhymes with cousin? It rhymes with Islam. Islam. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, now we got 170. Come on, you can't. We just talked about him. The leg kick. Hey, hey. Uh, Leon Edwards. Okay, 185, man. Come on. 185. Uh, Jamal, uh, Jamal Hill? Oh, you skipped one. You skipped oh, shit. One. You skipped one. 185. 185. He likes Avatar. Oh, is he? Yeah, yeah. Stylebender. Uh, style now, 205. 205? That's John Bone Jones, bro. No, 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 no. no. Oh, it used to be. Jamal, oh. Well, you had it. Jamal Hill. Jamal Sweet. And then John Bone for the last one. Uh, the, the goat. goat, the goat. Yes, sir. John John Jones. Jones. Let's go. You nailed the challenge, my man. Hope you enjoy the rest of the expo. Right, thank you, you know all the champions starting from 125 all the way to heavyweight. Current champion of 2023. Yeah, I got. All right, let me let me test you out. Let's go. It's Moreno, Mor yep. Brandon, Assassin Baby at 125. Yep. Al Jermaine. Aljamain at 135, yep. Volk at 155, yes, sir. Islam at 155, yep. Leon at 170, yes, sir. Izzy the Goat at 185, Ooh. 
205, Jamal Hill. Hey. And our heavyweight champ. Who is our heavyweight Don't champ? Don't forget a heavyweight champ now. Oh, I'm fucking. Come on hey, now. that's the GOAT, though. He's a real GOAT. The John real motherfucking one. Jones. Yes, John sir. Jones is the GOAT. Number one, pound for pound, GOAT. John Jones, that's fast. Dylan knows his shit. John Jones, I think he's our GOAT, too. Yeah. Forget about Khabib, man. Yeah. John Jones all facts, day. Facts, though, bro. Facts. I totally agree. John's the GOAT. No cap. There you guys have it. Okay, I'm going to right now. What's up? We have Santiago Ponsonibio here. He's going to tell us who he thinks is going to win in UFC 291, Justin Gaethje or Dustin Poirier. What a crazy war, no? That's like going to be an amazing fight, man. But in the end of the day, if you're asking me who's going to win, I think that Dustin is going to have the skill to take the, this fight again for him. But, you know, that's going to be an epic fight, you know? Yeah. And he won the first fight, too. Right, right, yeah, yeah. right. What about you, my man? you have any fights coming up soon? No, but I wish. I'm waiting for that. Let's go. We'll see what's happening. Okay, you have it here. His prediction. He has Dustin Poirier. Last question. In 155, what do you think about next pay-per-view, Dustin Poirier versus Justin Gaethje for the second time? We all know that's going to be a fan favorite. What's your take on it? Shit, I got I got Gaethje decision. Okay. It's gonna go all three rounds. A bloodbath for sure. Bloodbath. Blood yes, bath. sir. That's guaranteed. Here, it's gonna be for the baddest motherfucking belt. Ooh. Is Dustin Poirier versus Justin Gaethje? Who do you have in that fight? Bro, where, where am I from? Louisiana, Louisiana baby. So who am I going with? You gotta go for Dustin the Dime. I didn't I didn't know we we were biased in here, man. But we I guess are. we are. We are. <laughs> Bro, so I think only person, that, only people that truly win is the fans. That is going to be a phenomenal fight. It's going to be amazing. Uh, I think they're going to do just battle. So I'm super excited, but I, I think Dustin's going to come out on top. Okay, you got it here. We, he has Volkanovski getting it done and Dustin the Diamond Poirier. And we are out. Have it here. Chance Little Evil Poirier. Let's go. Legend. Of that wraps up another UFC X. This is our second season being here. Can't wait for season number three. But hopefully we were able to give you guys enough content. We definitely met a lot of fighters, talked with a lot of fans. We saw a lot of fighters, communicated with them, fans. We got you guys' prediction. Thank you so much for interacting with us. We had a great time. I hope you guys had a great time seeing us. And I can't wait for next year, 2024, where we can do this all over again, even better next time around.